Okay, in today's video, as you can see, we're going to go over a quick example about how to calculate the kinetic energy of an object, and then we'll also talk a little bit about uh, the relationship between kinetic energy and work. So this is the problem we're going to do. It's relatively straightforward. We have an automobile. It has a mass of 1,200 kilograms, and the automobile is traveling at 90 kilometers per hour, and we want to know what is the kinetic energy of the automobile, and if we wanted to start excuse me, start the automobile. If we wanted to stop the car, how much work would be required to start the car? And this goes to the work energy theorem. But let's figure out the kinetic energy first. Here's our kinetic energy equation, one half. There were the kinetic energy is equal to one half mv squared. m is the mass, which we've been given. v is the velocity. The velocity must be in meters per second base units for the metric system. And you can see we have been given the speed of the car, the velocity of the car in kilometers per hour, 90, and we need to change that, convert that to meters per second. So let's go ahead and do that first. We're going to write down 90 kilometers per hour. You can see I wrote it down 90 kilometers slash and then put that over hours. I like to make it nice and kind of square looking. And then I'm going to convert first my kilometers by saying that one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. I want to cancel out this kilometer with this kilometer, and I want to be left with meters, so I definitely put the kilometers in the bottom because then this kilometer and this kilometer cancel. And now you can see if I take 90, multiply it by 1,000, I'll have meters per hour. Okay, 90 kilometers, 90,000 meters per hour, but I don't want meters per hour, I want meters per second. So now I'm going to convert my hours. One hour is 3,600 seconds, so now I cancel this hour and that hour, and I get my answer now. 25 meters per second is the same thing as 90 kilometers per hour km ha okay so now we have our velocity in meters per second we have our mass in kilograms and we can go ahead and we can calculate the kinetic energy pretty straightforward kinetic energy is one half same thing 0 0.5 times the mass times 25 squared the velocity squared we're going to square just the velocity so this is one half times 1200 times 25 squared. We're going to square just the velocity. Okay, this is all multiplication, so it doesn't matter what order we do this for our order of operations. And we just do that, we get 375,000 joules. That is the kinetic energy of a 1,200 kilogram car going 90 miles per hour or 25 meters per second. Now, we want to figure out also how much work would be required to stop this car. And in order to do that, we're going to get out our work energy theorem. And the work energy theorem says the work, the net work done on the car, the net work done is equal to the change in kinetic energy. Well, the car has this kinetic energy. We want to stop it, which means we want to bring the kinetic energy to zero, which simply means that in order to stop the car, we're going to have to do 375,000 joules of work. Okay? So that's the amount of work that we would, would be required to basically get rid of all that kinetic energy. So you can see that the, kinet, the change in the kinetic energy is equal to the amount of work that we're going to do. Okay, And if we do that much work on the car with the brakes, friction from the road, then we'll have the car back to zero meters per second. Okay, So that's it. That's a quick example for kinetic energy, show you how to calculate kinetic energy, and a little bit with the work energy theorem and um, the amount of work required to stop that car, okay? So uh, here's a couple more examples you can look at, another one concerning kinetic energy, and then here's a link also to a video that I did for the work energy theorem in case you're interested a little bit more about that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please give me a nice comment and a thumbs up in the comment section below, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.